Let's look into those components of dental chairs. There are several components of a dental chair that it might seem overwhelming. However, these components are fashioned in such a way to deliver comfort, convenience, and functionality to the patient, the dentist, and the overall dental procedure. We will be discussing eight of these components, namely dental light, dental chair controls, cup holder, spittoon bowl, air water syringe, bracket table, and x-ray viewer. First, we look into the dental light attachment. The dental or operator light is used to illuminate inside the mouth or oral cavity of the patient seated on the dental chair. It is usually positioned 30 to 50 inches from the mouth of the patient to avoid the light from shining in the patient's eyes and causing discomfort. The light has dimmer switches so that the intensity of the light may be adjusted. Protective barriers such as plastic wrap or aluminum foil are placed on the handles and the switches of the light. The lights are frequently cleaned and movable parts of the light are lubricated during preventive maintenance. The second component is the dental chair movement control panel. Dental chair controls are comprised of control buttons that can move the dental chair upward or downward depending on what is best suited for the clinician. The movements that are move up, recline to rest, move down, lie down, lift, and raise the seat. The third component is cup holders. Every dental chair has a cup holder. Disposable cups are primarily used for patients to take in water, gargle it, and then spit it out into a spittoon bowl. This is so patients don't feel uncomfortable with blood or debris in their mouth. The fourth component is bracket table. Bracket tables are used to hold hand instruments and materials such as cotton, cotton holders, cement mixtures, and diagnostic instruments, among many others. The fifth component is air-water syringe. The air-water syringe is one of the only dental devices that are used on every patient for every procedure. The two basic functions for this device are irrigating and drying. 